it is with a great sense of nostalgia that I say, welcome back, colleagues, for the last time at this conference. On behalf of the South African Organizing Committee, and you should be seeing them on screen about now, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who participated in this conference. This has been an incredible three days for us, and we hope that this has also been your experience. However, what we've come to recognize over the last three days is that this is not a UNISA conference, it is not an ICDE conference, this has been our conference. 900 delegates from 67 countries. And so I know you're eating, but I want to ask you please to do something for me. Will you please put both your hands in the air and then your left hand down? Flex your fingers on your right hand. Put your right hand on your left shoulder. Raise it and lower it slowly. Raise it and lower it and then a bit faster and faster and faster and faster and give yourself a very good pat on the back. You made an excellent choice when you decided to come to the 26th ICDE World Conference. And then, just for me, may I ask for one last pat on the back for the members of my organizing committee, for the entire UNISA team, and for the technical support. These are the people. I can honestly say that this was an incredible team, and they worked tirelessly to ensure that this conference was a success. So from me to them, two years later, I thank you. And successes, rewards, and excitement, they're not over yet. And I would like to invite the Secretary General of the ICDE, Mr. Gard Tittlestadt, to the podium to share more successes with you. Gard. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, first of all, let me thank you, let me thank UNISA for a fantastic world conference. Let me also use this opportunity to thank my small staff, David Klotz and Caroline Seville for their work. While we are here celebrating what you have achieved and UNISA and Africa have achieved, change is happening. I will in a few minutes give you some glimpse of what I see as future perspectives with the ICDE lenses. Every day, you, teachers, instructors, staff, teams in ICD member universities, institutions, and in international associations of the whole world, you are working to support quality outcome for 10 to 20 million students around the world. It is just amazing. By blended, online distance, flexible and open provision, you contribute to deliver more, better for less. 
you work to close the gaps, to provide access, equity, and quality learning outcomes. ICDE, as a global network, as a global organization that work close in partnership with, with UNESCO and many international organizations, member organizations and individuals, we will continue to work hard to close the gaps, to have more and better for less, to have quality outcome, to contribute to transforming education for a better lives and society, societies and for the sustainable future we want. However, we know that that requires recognition of online, open and flexible provision and systems. It requires favorable policies by government for quality open and distance learning. It requires funding and funding is critical. You have to invest to harvest. Now, these are not my words, and that is good, because that is exactly what is the key content on what is called the Paris message, asset which was issued by a high-level forum in Paris, 9 to 11 June, organized by UNESCO together with ICD. That was the message. So we know that the government had to follow up and provide the facilities that can make miracles happen by your participation. And we have got a new sustainable development goal, number four, education 2030, towards inclusive and equitable quality education and lifelong learning for all, where higher education, lifelong learning has its prominent place. I will read this sentence because it was not in the governmental international policies before, but after the Paris message, after the so-called Qingdao declaration, this is now in the draft framework for action to see that education 2030 really happen. It is a well-established, properly regulated tertiary education system supported by technology, open educational resources, OER, and distance education modalities can increase access, equity, quality, and relevance, and narrow the gap between what is taught in tertiary education institutions and what economies and societies demand. The provision of tertiary education should be progressively free in line with existing international agreement. This is new and we should celebrate that we have got the framework. And I think that Asha Kanbar, that leading call, also participating in the policy, can nod with me and see we had to work hard for this. It didn't come by itself. Now, ICD priorities for the next one to two years is about keywords like quality, leadership, research and development, and collaboration. Take the policies into action. And what ICD will do, when you have experimented, piloted by the initiative of UNISA, a doctoral consortium, to support doctoral students, and doctoral work within our field will be the significant contribution to quality and to leadership. So ICD has decided that during 2016 to launch the doctoral consortium as a global and sustainable initiative and will invite all doctoral students related to online open and flexible education to join and create the virtual global community. And if you ask the presidents in ICD institutions, they all yesterday gave, gave their yes I will invite those institutions that are interested or already involved in online or distance education to join the ICD collaborative network, to join forces. And I will invite all you individuals 
that are interested in global collaboration and professional development to join as individual ICD members. And from January and onwards, you will be able to use the new collaborative ICD platform and create global community of practices. Through partnership and collaboration, we will make a difference through online, blended, open and flexible education. And if you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, I see that you want to go together with you. Thank you. We will now turn into to hand over the ICD prizes for excellence. And to help me with that, I ask the ICD president, Tian Belavati, to join on the stage. And also Professor Divya Singh. So we are a team of three. And um, I am very proud and happy for that the winner of the Institutional Prize for Excellence is the African Virtual University. And I would ask Rector Bakare Diallo to join us on the scene. And I will invite Divya to read the commandment. So, please. Congratulations to the African Virtual University. The African Virtual University has achieved remarkable success in promoting distance education in the vast continent of Africa with its 57 countries and hundreds, even thousands of languages. And they've done this with very limited resources. The African Virtual University has been a key protagonist, increasing access to education across Africa and across cultural and linguistic barriers, and promoting e-learning as a vital alternative to face-to-face -face instruction in a continent where so many people need the education so vital to development. The AVU is a worthy recipient of the 2015 ICDE Institutional Prize for Excellence. And I invite Dr. Diallo to give his speech. Please, Bakarov. Uh, thank you very much, Guard. Uh, Dr. Tian Berawati, President of ICDE, members of the ICDE Council, Prof. Mantla Makiana, Principal, Principal and VC of UNISA, Mr. Gard, Secretary General of ICDE. Uh, I would like to recognize two members of the AVU Board of Directors present here. Uh, Professor Faisal, VC of the Open University of Sudan, and Mr. Larry Cooperman from the University of California, Irvine. Uh, President of African Council of Distance Education, Prof. Russia. Colleagues, friends, I would like also to recognize the presence of my wife, Sherry Kennedy, and our 
and our youngest son, Armadi. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the board of directors of the AVU, and on my own behalf, I'm deeply honored by the fact that the African Cultural University is a winner of the Institutional ICD Prize of Excellence. The ICDE is a worldwide renowned institution greatly esteemed in the world of open distance and e-learning, an institution we've been working very closely, especially since 2011. Receiving this award represents a tremendous honor and recognition of the work of the AVU over the past years. This prestigious prize sheds a light on AVU and on its collaborative work with its, its state members, network of partner institutions, strategic partners like the African Union Commission, and donors like the African Development Bank, and many, many friends of the AVU. I would like to thank at this juncture Atabasi University in Canada for having nominated the AVU. I deeply believe that innovation in education is instrumental to the training of talented human capital and citizens of the 21st century, particularly at a time when the just adopted UN Sustainable Development Goals challenges stakeholders to increase access to quality education. We must therefore exploit the potential of innovations and their related approaches and practices through open distance and e-learning in order to make meaningful and lasting impact on learners as well as on our communities, countries, and regions. At the AVU, we strive to be in the heart of such dynamic, focusing on finding and implementing best solutions adapted to the unique environment of the African continent. This prize is an immense source of satisfaction, as you can imagine, but it is also a catalyst and motivation. IVU decided a few months ago to build on its own experience and to scale up the delivery of accredited program across borders in some 20 African countries, this in partnership with our partner universities. As you can imagine, this is a huge undertaking which is motivated by the, the dire need of educating millions, especially here in Africa. I would like to thank our partners, donors, and friends Allow me to just name a few of them that are present here in this room. First of all, ICDE, um, the Commonwealth of Learning, the Open Educational Consortium, the African Council of, for Distance Education, UNISA, the Open University of Tanzania, and the Open University of Sudan. My sincere thanks goes to my colleagues at the AVU. We are a very small team the women and men that work tirelessly to make this recognition possible. This is the fourth international pro awards that AVU has won in the last, since 2011. Two are awarded by, the, by educationalportal.com, a US-based organization in 2011 and 2012. And in 2013, we received another prize from the Open Educational Consortium. I'm once again very pleased to have received this institutional prize on behalf of the, of the African Virtual University. Thank you very much for your attention. I will now announce the winner of the lifelong contribution to the field of open and distance learning. Professor Oleg Demiro Jegede, please come to the scene.
invite Professor Divya Singh to read the commandments for caregivers. In 2001, Professor Jagede was the founding vice chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria, also known as NAUN. He successfully completed his tenure at the university with a string of laudable achievements on the 14th of October, 2010. Professor Jagede was also chairman and president of the African Council for Distance Education, the ACDE from 2009 to 2011, and he spearheaded a significant development in ODL on the continent of Africa by the establishment of the ACDE Quality Assurance and Accreditation Agency and acted as the founding director for two years. Professor Jagede was also, for some time, the Secretary General for the Association of African Universities. He is currently secretary to the governor of Kogi State. For all his work, Professor Jagede is highly recommended by the jury for the 2015 ICDE Prize for Lifelong Contribution to Open and Distance Learning. Congratulations. The President, Secretary General, and Executive Members of ICD, Honorable Ministers, CEOs of various regional and global organizations here, Vice Chancellors, Heads of Associations, my friends, my colleagues, Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my family, friends, and colleagues, I wish to extend my profound appreciation to the Executive Council of ICD for this great honor, which means a lot to me and to those who have walked with me through my journey in open and distance learning. My immeasurable gratitude goes to ICD for honoring me on my own soil, our great continent of Africa, just as Commonwealth of Learning did in my country, Nigeria, two years ago. I must thank the African Council for Distance Education, led by the dynamic president, Professor Primrose Kuresha, for counting my contributions worthy of the nomination. It is impossible within the time I have to mention all those who have been my pillars of support in ODL to date. Permit me therefore to just say my colleagues in all the institutions I have worked with since 1981 when I first came in contact with ODL in the form of correspondence education at Amandebele University through Curtin University of Technology, Perth, Australia, through University of Abuja, University of Southern Queensland, Toowoomba, the Open University of Hong Kong, and the National Open University of Nigeria. Several organizations and other institutions that made some impact in my ODL work included, but not limited to, the Open and Distance Learning Association of Australia, ODLA, ICD, which I have been a member since 1992 at its 16th conference in Bangkok, Thailand, Commonwealth of Learning, the World Bank, UNESCO, SCD, IGNU, UKOU, the Open University System of China, UNISA, AAU, 
and indeed my alma mater, Amandabello University and the University of Wales, United Kingdom. I cannot thank enough those who, with exceptional understanding, grudgingly endured my hours and days of absence from home and domestic responsibilities in my quest to excel. And that is my dear family, represented by my wife here. My invitation from Hong Kong to Nigeria in 2001 and 2002 to reestablish ODL was a litmus test to implement all that the world had taught me in ODL. In a way, it was a test for the global community of ODL, which I'm a part of, and I'm happy we did not disappoint. The large contingent from Noun and Nigeria to this conference it's a pleasing testimony to that. Let me thank the functionaries of government that I had directly worked with, especially President Olusegun Obasanjo, who became my student, all the ministers in Nigeria, particularly of education, and Governor Idris Wada, my current boss. How can I forget to thank all the journal editors and publishers that accepted my manuscripts that I thought didn't make any sense to anybody. This award has reinforced my conviction that the ODL I came in contact with in a small but unique manner in 1981, and my romance with technology in ODL delivery when I sent my first email in November 1988, has in my lifetime become mainstream rather than peripheral. The unleashing of the potency of ODL to solve the global search for massification of instruction has only just begun. God bless all of you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. The winner of the individual prize could not come to this conference. It is a good colleague and friend of many in this audience. It is Dr. Irina Smirnova. I will ask Divya to read what the evaluation committee had to say about her. The individual prize of excellence is awarded to a person who has shown leadership over the past five to ten years in the work of open and distance education at national, regional or global levels and moved the international agenda of ODL cooperation forward. Irina Svernova is the director of the international department at Moscow State University for economics, statistics, and informatics, a post that she has occupied since 2004. Her leadership in a wide range of international projects on ICT application in education and lifelong learning makes her a worthy recipient of the 2015 ICDE Individual Prize. I will now announce the winners of the ICDE Prizes for Innovation and Best Practice paper in Open Distance, Flexible Online and E-Learning and Open Praxis, as you know, is the peer-reviewed open access, so-called Platinum Open Access journal and the editorial board of open praxis
has, according to criteria, selected five winners. And I will ask them, all five, to come to the scene as I read the names. Asamenev Demesiev Direda from UNISA. It is Ashok Gaba from Indira Gandhi National Open University and Wei Li from Open University of China. It is Maximus Gorki Sembiring from Universitas Terbuka, Indonesia. It is Shironika P. Karunas Karunana Yaka and Somnaidu and GCN Rayendra and HUW Ratnayake from the Open University of Sri Lanka and Munash University. Asamene de Messia Berreira from UNISA is, award, is awarded the ICD prize by the paper Challenges to the Doctoral Journey, a case of female doctoral students from Ethiopia. The editorial board highlighted the quality of approach of this paper, which identifies students' concern and provides insight for organizing student support services. I turn to Ashok Kaba from Indira Gandhi National Open University and Wei Li from Open University of China from, for the paper Growth and Development of Distance Education in India and China, a study on policy perspectives. And the editorial board valued the comparative approach to the development of open and distance education in the two most populated countries in the world, including mentions to recent trends in the field. For Maximus Gorki Sambiring from Universitas Tarbuka, Indonesia, for his paper, Validating Student Satisfaction Related to Persistence, Academic Performance, Retention and Career Advancements with ODL Perspectives. And the editorial board valued the relevant aspects for ODL that his paper puts in focus and in practical outcome and implication. Now, Shirinok. Shironika P. Karunanayaka, Somnaidu, GCN, Rayendra, and HUW Ratnayake from the Open University of Sri Lanka and Munash University for their paper OER to OEP, Shifting Practitioner Perspectives and Practices with Innovative Learning Experience Design. And the editorial board value the scholarly nature of this paper and its significance in the field as it provides an important best practice and will inspire others. Now, I have only four. I have to also ask Patrina Lo from Open University UK. Sorry, but you know, when you know come alone, you get the blitzes on you. So that is what I can say for my small failure here. As a compensation, more blitz, please. <laughs> so, Patrina Lowe from Open University of UK for her paper, Recognizing Informal E-Learning with Digital Badging, Evidence for a Sustainable Business Model. And the editorial board, they valued its or originality and it presents good research in a very innovative area. Congratulations to all the prize winners, and I invite Tian Bellevati to hand over the prizes.
before I leave this scene, and before I invite Tian to launch what we call ICDE, Operational Network, and her closing remark, I will only see a few words, because I know this is Tian's last world conference as ICDE president in this period. She can be re-elected later, but according to the Constitution, not now. <laughs> and I just want to thank her personally for her great contribution to ICDE. I, I would say it is just amazing what her leadership has meant for you and for all around the globe and her very fair vision of a global, balanced and sustainable world. It has been a great pleasure for me to work with her, serve her, discuss with her so often, so many times on so many issues and I will miss her voice and the daily collaboration very much. So by these words, I invite you, Tian, to launch the ICDE on.